Hi everyone, it's Alicia, and today I'm joined by Justin over at Moreland Connect. Justin, how are you doing this week? Doing great, how are you doing, Alicia? Doing well, thank you. So in today's video, you are gonna be talking to us about transformational leadership in the trenches. And transformational leadership is very important at Moreland Connect, and you're gonna tell us now a little bit about how that type of leadership ties into your company. So I'll turn it over to you. Sure. Um, so as you know, in our business, um, we're dealing with um, external clients and also uh, with internal workforce um, that we're managing. So I think leadership is important on both fronts, uh, especially in a lot of our um, projects. We're dealing with a very high stakes development that's transforming businesses. Um, it gets pretty emotional, especially when you're in the midst of a project. Um, it all goes through a phase that um, our owner, John, likes to call the Valley of Despair. So when you're in that Valley of Despair and it's gonna happen in every project, um, I think falling on kind of a core principle of leadership is uh, crucial to the success of our business. Um, and what we like to look at in, in uh, this area is not reinventing the wheel because there's thousands of leadership books written on this topic, but kind of looking at some of the thought leaders in this space. Um, one book that uh, I think we consider kind of required um, reading when you join Moreland is a book by a former U.S. Navy SEAL, uh, Jocko Willink, um, called Extreme Ownership. Um, and we really stress a lot of the core principles in that book um, in project management in our in our industry. Um, I could talk about a few of those uh, principles um, in particular. Um, the first and foremost is what the book is named after, Extreme Ownership. So as a project leader, um, that principle really is when, it, when something's failing or things are going wrong within a project, um, the team leader really should take complete ownership of those failures from top to bottom. Um, and I think that really sets uh, a foundation to build uh, mutual respect um, and strong relationships, which I think ultimately is the foundation of, of all leadership. So kind of taking that forefront, um, taking the responsibility to own failures in a project, you kind of gain the respect of the your internal workforce, your internal staff, but also um, the external stakeholders that you're working with. Um, so that's one kind of core principle is that that idea of extreme ownership. Um, and what you see is when you when the leader and team leaders taking that that type of responsibility and owning up um, to to the mistakes of the project. Uh, it's definitely a trickle down effect um, that, you know, people within the project are also going to take that same level of responsibility moving forward. So I think that's a big uh, core principle um, we kind of stress within Moreland. Um, another one um, is just humility. Um, really, when you look at our company, there's no task that a team leader um, feels that they're above and beyond. Um, we've had our owners, Jeff and John, doing kind of data entry work for our project if needed. So really um, what Jocko, the uh, US Navy SEAL calls that is picking up the brass, which is a term related to after they're doing target practice, someone needs to go around and pick up the bench shells off the floor. So when the US Navy SEALs are training their incoming um, soldiers, they'll see the leaders going out there and picking up the brass. And that sets an example for, for what's expected of them uh, moving forward. So we kind of take those same principles within Moreland. There's no job that any leader wouldn't take on. Wonderful. Yeah, I was going to say, really leading by example, um, making sure that your leaders are right there working side by side with the other team members. And that really shows at Moreland Connect, whether this is the first video you're watching um, or if you've checked out other videos on the blog, you're going to be able to see that Moreland Connect is truly one cohesive team. They work together to get the job done right for you. So thank you again, Justin, for telling us a little bit more about that. And if you're watching this video and you'd like to partner with Moreland Connect, you can get in contact with the team by giving them a call. You can also explore their website a little bit more and their blog to learn more about the services that they offer. And you can also get in contact right there on the website.